it really seems like all is not well at the EFF. First of all, they had that stupid sort of trying to, I don't know, confront Cyril on stage at his own Sona address, which is remarkably dumb. But before that happened, the EFF had a press conference where Julius Malema, the Kiri Amin in chief, said they are not working with the IFP anymore. They want to dump the IFP in KZN and they would rather work with the ANC in KZN. But then after that, they said the IFP wanted to kill one of the leaders of the EFF and there was a whole kerfuffle about that as well. No proof was provided, of course. This is the EFF we're talking about. But now there is a bit of a difficult situation within the EFF because members in KZN for the EFF are actually upset by this notion of dumping the IFP. Because it appears that the EFS decision to dump the IFP in KZN is sort of backfiring because a lot of the councillors from the EFF within KZN might actually be dumping the EFF instead of the IFP. Because according to the EFF in KZN, they were told for the longest period of time to tell voters to dump the ANC. And now a few months later, they must dump the IFP and tell voters to vote with them for the ANC. How is that going to make sense to voters? And who knew some members of the ANC do actually have, you know, principles because they're saying we can't go now and support the ANC. It makes us look dishonest and it makes us as EFF councillors look like unprincipled people. And believe it or not, I actually agree with the EFF councillors in this particular regard. It makes them look shockingly unprincipled to sort of zigzag between different political parties. But, you know, the EFF is a cult of Kiri Amin and what Kiri Amin says is what happens. And apparently this very autocratic style, which I must admit I like to some extent in a political party, but this autocratic style has its downfalls. And one of those downfalls is that your members might not agree with your style, you're putting their reputation on the line, and therefore they might want to start something new outside the folds of the EFF. And therefore apparently some EFF councillors have started a brand new party, ironically called African Economic Freedom, or the AEF. I mean, zero marks for creativity there. It's basically the same thing as the EFF, but it's African. So maybe, I don't know, it's more pan-African than the EFF. I mean, who really knows? But on the whole, this dynamic is very, very interesting to me because we do know Kiri Amin controlled that party throughout the everything, right? Everything is decided by Kiri Amin himself. But now if Kiri Amin's actions are making them lose councillors and those councillors are starting up splinter parties or joining other political parties, that might leave him in a bit of a weakened state as the dictator of the EFF. Now, of course, I'm not saying that this is like the end of the EFF or whatever the case might be, but there are cracks in the facade. There are cracks in Julius's tempestuous type of decision-making. Because firstly, he is a flip-flopper. We know this very well. Kiri Amin is just a flip-flopper extraordinaire. He changes his mind like he changes his underwear. Every single day, there's something new. And if it goes against what he said before... Everyone just forgets about it and just moves on with their lives. But in this particular case, he said during the election campaign, vote for anyone other than the ANC. He even made specific reference to voting for the IFP as long as it's not the ANC. And what has happened is that the EFF and the IFP went across KZN, across Hung municipalities, and the IFP took power in those municipalities thanks to EFF support. But now, without any reason, Julia says the IFP are a bunch of morons and we're not going to support them anymore. And I know you must find in somewhere in your heart to sympathize with an EFF counselor. I know it's very difficult, but just imagine, like your whole job was to get the IFP into power. And now your boss says, actually, what you've been doing for the past year is a waste of time. Now you're going to tell people to vote for the ANC instead. I would also be rightly ticked off because fundamentally, these councils are saying that there's no reason given for this change in direction for the EFF. They were told to vote for the IFP and now they are told to vote for the ANC. But there's no reasons given. And the lack of reasons given makes them believe that the EFF is only there for greed. And this was confirmed by the former provincial secretary of the EFF in KZN. He says, the EFF are only interested in power. They're not interested in the people on the ground of KZN. So for now, I don't think there's going to be any major eruptions in the EFF. But you could see that with the schizophrenic decision making from Kiri Amin himself, it's leaving a lot of people left behind. And in a political party, if you leave people behind, they find things to blame, notably Kiri Amin in this case, but most importantly, number two, if they are unhappy, they could take their power and influence somewhere else. And the greater ramifications for KZN is, well, quite obvious. If the IFP do very well in KZN, along with the DA, the IFP and the DA are in a sort of partnership agreement throughout KZN, 
If that partnership bears fruit and the IFP holds on to the councils it already has, and the DA also makes some inroads, they already made some in Umgeni with Chris Papas, maybe they make some come 2024 as well, you could have a bit of a hung province. Where you've got the ANZ EFF on one side in a declining fashion because the ANZ is losing votes dramatically in KZN because they don't have any Zulus on the leadership council. But on the other side, you have the IFP and KZN is the heartland of the IFP and the Anglos and the DA are helping the IFP take over municipalities there as well. And then you've got all these splinter groups emanating from the ANC and the EFF who are unhappy with both sets of circumstances and think they can do it alone. So all in all, it is shaping up to be a very interesting election come 2024. Will the ANC keep KZN? Who knows? But it certainly seems like the EFF isn't helping them in a material way. So let me know down in the comments down below. Do you think that KZN is going to be an ANC EFF province or is it going to be a DA, IFP and smaller Nyana party province? It would be very interesting to see where this goes because a lot of the ANC support in KZN helps bolster its national support. If it loses dramatically in KZN, it changes the entire picture of the electoral map come 2024. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow. Cheers.